Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Build a Figure. This is just a series where we look at custom head sculpts, outfit sets, we do kit bashes, you name it. But most importantly, we build figures. Today we're taking a look at a head sculpt from Good Luck Studio, specifically meant to upgrade the Buzz Toys Witcher. The experience? Contacting Duke Avocado, the guy behind Good Luck Studio, and getting this head sculpt made was really good, and I can't wait to get stuck in as to the whole process, and we will. The unboxing experience alone is very special, as it should be, because this head sculpt is actually more expensive than the entire Buzz Toys Witcher. You might think that I'm crazy, but in my defense, I love Henry Cavill's Witcher. And so too does my wife, so I had an excuse to splurge on this head sculpt. I want to take that Buzz Toys Witcher to the next level. I want to go from it being good to perfect. DX Artisan level, or Enart level, if you will. It should be possible, the Buzz Toys Witcher is already a really solid starting point. So anything that we do to it, any little tweaks and upgrades, should help get it to that next level. Now I have popped the links to Good Luck Studios Insta and Duke Avocado's profile in the description below. Should you want to contact Duke and commission your very own custom Witcher head sculpt or something else entirely with rooted hair. The box is made of real wood which is crazy for a 1-6 scale custom head sculpt. Sliding the lid off, we're greeted with a fabric lid and the inside is fully padded. The head sculpt does come packaged in a jar, so I don't think we'll have to do much futzing with the hairstyle. If this is the level of packaging on every Duke Avocado head sculpt, I am all the way in, baby. This is real glass, and this is real wood. Plus there's a rubber seal, and tape down the bottom, and foam padding, and plastic around the head sculpt. This is some rock solid packaging, this head sculpt isn't going anywhere in transit. Up top we do have a sticker, and I do like this, it says good luck be with you, thank you for your support. So I guess we know where Good Luck Studio comes from. The same thing is on the back of the COA. It's hand numbered and signed down below. So just for reference, this is the head sculpt we're replacing, the skin tone is quite dark and I don't think the likeness is perfect. Then you've got the sculpted hair that's also quite dark, they went very heavy with the washes. Compared to the Duke Avocado head sculpt, holy shit, it is a night and day difference. This is Henry Cavill. I mean, the likeness is perfect from every angle, at least in my opinion. The furrowed brow helps sell that fierce expression. The five o'clock shadow is beautifully painted. The eyes are nice and glossy, and he's hit the bottom with a little bit of a highlight just to make them look even more lifelike. And then the hair. I was able to fully customize this head sculpt. I was able to pick the hairstyle, I was able to pick the hair color, the skin color, the skin detail, five o'clock shadow or no, everything was fully customizable. So I went with as close to the Buzz Toys hairstyle as possible. But this is that real wool hair, just like in art and the Hot Toys DX Artisan series. It lays exactly as you'd expect it to. And the hairline is just so freaking clean. I cannot get over how good this head sculpt is. I'm truly enamored, and it's not often that I'm lost for words, but this time it is genuinely happening. I cannot wait to put this on the body. I think it's going to make a massive difference to the Buzz Toys Witcher. But before we get there, there's one thing that I want to do first, and it's replace these overly long ankle pegs. They're quite loose and they throw off the proportions. They make his legs look absolutely massive. It's not an enormous difference. As you can see, it's just taken off a little bit of extra height. This one has been done and this one hasn't. I think that's going to be enough to make the proportions look more believable. You can't tell yet, but it has worked. You will see when we zoom out and you can check out the figure as a whole. So this is the stock head sculpt. Are you all ready for it? Because I don't know if I am, but I really want to see what it looks like, so let's just give it a go. Oh, it worked all right. This head sculpt, it's elevated this figure immediately. The stock head sculpt was good. It just came across a little bit cartoony, video gamey, caricature-like, maybe. Not to say it's bad, it's still a very viable option. But the Duke Avocado head sculpt, it's just at that next level. 
the individual wool strands of hair rooted, then dangling down over his temples and coming around the front, hanging over his armor. Plus now having increased range of motion because you don't have to contend with this rubbery plastic hair. Those are all pros. But there is one con. The skin tone that I went with, because I wanted to go lighter than this reddish skin tone on the stock head sculpt, now doesn't perfectly match the neck. I can slide up this neck collar piece and then hide it. I don't think it's a massive deal, especially from a distance it just looks like shadow. It looks like his chin is casting a shadow onto his neck and that's why it looks a little bit darker. Everything just works here. And because the neck is still on that cylindrical neck peg, you can adjust it up and down. If you want it to sit a little bit higher, doable. If you want it to sit a little bit lower, make him look more mean and menacing, also possible. For me, I like to see just a touch of neck. So up, maybe higher than some people might like, is where I want it to be. Having it be as adjustable as it is and as realistic as it is, like I've already said, this figure, elevated. Next level, achieved. I didn't quite mean to say it like that, you know what I mean, I sound goofy, whatever. I do have his sword in his sheath, and from the front, now that you can see it over the shoulder, that just adds to it. I don't quite know where this guy's going to go in the collection, but what I do know is he needs a prime spot. I don't know of many figures that look as good and as realistic as this guy does. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, no, I don't own two Buzz Toys Witches, this is just movie magic. On the left, the stock Buzz Toys Witcher, and on the right, the customised Builder figure version. Who would have thought that shortening his legs would help with proportions? Usually you want to make your figures taller, not shorter, whereas in this case, it turns out that shortening him, that did fix the proportions. Now I'm much happier with how he looks. Then we get to the head sculpt. We already knew it was a gorgeous head sculpt. We saw it separately to the body, we did comparisons, we knew that. But there's nothing like putting a custom head sculpt that's really well painted, has great likeness and rooted hair onto a body where previously you weren't quite so sure about the sculpt. And seeing them side by side, oh, it's definitely night and day. So with that, we're at the end of another episode of Build a Figure. The more and more I go down the rabbit hole of doing these Build a Figure episodes and the more customs I put together, the more excited I get to continue this series. This is now my favourite series on the entire channel. I love figure preview, I love the collection series, I love unboxing and reviews. But this series, I think it's something special. We get to take a figure that's stock out of the box and we get to put our own spin on it. This particular head sculpt might just be the best custom head sculpt that I have in my collection. That's not to say that in the future we won't get a better one. Right now, this is it for me. This is my perfect 1-6 scale Henry Cavill Season 1 Witcher. Seeing as though SoSo -So Toys is releasing their Season 2 version, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone makes a Season 3 one as well, we might just have to get a couple more Duke Avocado Good Luck Studio custom Witcher head sculpts in the future. We'll have to wait and see. I have popped the link to Good Luck Studios and Duke in the description below. And while you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.